This video, we're going to be going over the 6 1 defense in Madden 25. Um, probably one of my favorite defenses right now. We are, uh, there is going to be an ebook on there. I already have kind of like a mini ebook up. Uh, we're going to be doing a full ebook on our, in our school community. And I don't know how I just gave up a touchdown. Okay, we're off to a great start here. I don't know how. I guess play action is the wave. There you go. Uh, all right, we're off to a good start. Uh, so for 6-1, what you want to do is you want to have uh, like basically your best pass rushers, in my opinion, at DN, and then your fastest guys at DT. So you want speed at defensive tackle and skill at defensive end, in my opinion. And then the outside, you want fast linebackers. You actually want a user, uh, like a smaller line, like a smaller middle linebacker, uh, because there is a glitchy blitz in six one right now. And then on offense, I actually think I'm in Colts. I was gonna. I'm actually not really running Colts much anymore, but I do have an ebook on it in school. I don't know what I'm running on offense, but basically offense. Like I, what I also wanted to talk about this year or this game is the offensive meta that we're seeing. I think I might have totally picked Colts by mistake. Uh, yep, totally got Colts. All right, well, Colts is fine. No big deal. So what is the offensive meta in Madden 25? And I wanted to actually talk about kind of like a concept that I've been thinking about basically for all of Madden. Uh, and that's like, if you remember, you know, when I was in high school, when we would take like reading tests, we would we would do – one of the best ways to like take a reading test on a book to get credit for reading the book but not having to read the book was to read the Cliff Notes. And the Cliff Notes version, you could like basically Google like the Cliff Notes of whatever book it was, and it'd give you like the core ideas, um, like the main points, main characters, that kind of stuff. So you could like literally have like a snapshot of what was what what the basically the book was, right? So I've been thinking about doing that for Madden, um, and the reason why is just because in this game, like there is there is a lot of like little things, but honestly, this game is kind of simple at its core. Um, and so I wanted to talk a little bit about that, and just talk about uh, what my Cliff Notes would be for Madden. Um, I'm actually kind of literally going to brainstorm through this video with you guys, and just kind of share like what I've seen and what I think could be you know effective cl Cliff Notes for Madden. So starting on offense. The first thing that you have to kind of start out with this year's game is um, is seam streaks. Seam oh, thank goodness I was out. Of, he was out of bounds. I'm just gonna play on conservative. I'm kind of. I feel like I fumble all the time. Um, so the first thing that is effective and something that you need to kind of have in your offense, in my opinion, is 100% seam streaks. Seam streaks are. Uh, super good. I think I totally missed one that I had over the middle there. Now I'm going to fumble my quarterback. Good thing I went on conservative. But seam streaks are super good. The uh, the ability to hit both seams, I think, are, are is just is just a really really good play to way to play this game right now. One of the combos I was thinking about. Let's see if this works. I don't know if this is a good combo or not, but we're going to try it. Looking for the seam streak on the right, not there, but I do have this post. So basically, just even just attacking like. Even just attacking kind of the seam area of the field in general in this game is really good. So seam streaks is like the first point on my cliff notes, if you will, of Madden. You have to be able to attack the seam streaks. They're super good, and they're honestly not – like it's not that hard. You just literally put a streak or a stemmed curl. Like right here, see if I can fit this in. See, I can just attack that seam. So first thing, first cliff note of Madden 25 is basically having seam streaks in your route combos, which leads me to another really, really big principle that I do think is really relevant for Madden, and that is trips formations. Pretty much since I've been playing Madden with the one exception, and that is if it's a man-to-man -man meta. So man-to-man -man meta was in Madden 23. You saw a lot of people running tight. But in general, pretty much always trips is meta. And what I say trips, I just simply mean three to four receivers to a side. So overloading a side with, with – um, Three receivers has always been, as long as I've been playing, has pretty much always been the meta. 
okay? Now, let's kind of flip over. There you see, there's the fumbles. All right, sweet, perfect. We got the ball back on offense. So, like, a trips formation, all I simply mean when I say that is three to four receiving threats per side. So, you trips trips tight in, bunch tight in, bunch strong, bunch offset, bunch wide, bunch strong nasty. Now, even more popular lately has been this meta, which is four strong to one side. Having four receiving threats on one side is really effective, and it's effective for really two key reasons, as I totally missed my post. The first reason why it is effective is because it cancels all match coverage. So you're never really going to have to deal with match coverage if you choose to play, play this way, right? You just never, you never have to deal with it. So you eliminate match coverage from, from the defense's arsenal, and you funnel them into basically zone, especially if you have good man-beating routes. So my cliff notes of Madden 25 – the first thing I said would be a have seam streaks in your off offense using use seam streaks. The second, and I think even more important than seam streaks, is be in a formation like trips or bunch where you have three receivers through a side uh, to a side. That to me is really really key um, if you want to be good at this game. I don't see like pretty much tight in general is a supplemental formation. So it's a formation that is not terrible, but you're only going to go to it for like specific, specific things. Okay. I'm trying to think what else my, my cliff note, if I was going to put some cliff notes together, what I would say as far as that offensively, I do think in general, in this year's game, it's really important to have a good spacing on your route combos. And I would say in general to like, Essentially designing route combos with that are good against switch stick, and I'm still honestly thinking about what that actually means. But you've got to have good spacing within your route combos. I know that's for sure. Like, I know you have to have... Like, a combo like this, would I would consider this a good switch stick combo because you have multiple options if they do switch stick. So you have to have stuff like that. That's super, super critical, Okay. So as far as cliff notes, we have use a trips or bunch formation, use the seam streaks, and then basically equip, like use combos that are good against switch stick. And again, I'm still trying to figure out what that means. So I would say like good spacing, right? The next thing I would say for offense is really more in the terms of like effective routes, knowing the effective routes. Every year in Madden, there are like met, what I would call like meta routes, or effective route. So in Madden 25, the like top five routes of Madden 25, the curl route, the stemmed up all the way up curl route, that is basically a streak, one of the most effective routes. The stemmed all the way down corner route, one of the most effective routes. Um, just the stand, like zig routes, one of the most effective routes in this game. So an offense that is built around those three routes as well as like return routes. And then I would say one of the other big, and really more recent cliff notes, and the, the main reason why a lot of people are leaving Colts is because Colts doesn't have a ton of good auto motion plays. And I think that's one of the reasons why a lot of people are uh, have basically stopped running Colts competitively because com auto motion really helps with beating man coverage, and specifically, uh, it's really effective for beating mid-blitz. So... Those are some, some general tips uh, that I've seen. All right, let's talk about defense. What are my cliff notes for defense? I think in general, um, one of the most underrated cliff notes, in my opinion, is send four pressure in this game is really pretty decent. The number one thing that I would say for cliff notes for defense is switch sticking. Learn how to switch stick and learn how to use switch stick. It's so big. It's the most important way. It's, it's the main way people get stops in this game is they switch stick and they lurk something. That is, that is like 100%. You know, if you had no other, no other thing to share, the switch stick feature uh, would be it. So you see there I can switch stick to crossers and stuff. 
So switch stick is, in my opinion, the number one feature really on offense and defense because you need to put combos on the field that are good if your opponent switch sticks, right? So anyway, those are some of – those are kind of my – as of right now, those are like my main ones. Um, I forgot to shade underneath. I almost got bombed. Good old match coverage. Let's see. What else would I say? Cliff notes for defense. I talked about the Sen 4 blitzes, which I think are, are actually, like, really, really key here. I'm trying to think what else I would say for defense is, like, super important. Oh, quarter, quarter, half. Um, quarter, quarter, half is really a big thing defensively this year. So quarter, quarter, half, specifically, like, quarter on the to the trips, like, to the bunch side, Having playing a half and a soft squat, that combination is really good for defending, like uh, for defending the stemmed corner stuff that I was just talking about. So if you want to defend, like let's say you wanted to defend this route combination, one of the best ways to do so uh, would be quarter quarter half, okay? Because the soft squat and the specifically the soft squat on that right side would match this guy. Now he didn't use a soft squat, which is why it didn't work, but a soft squat is really good at matching stemmed corners. So the soft squat is one of the key zones and one of the key coverages in the game is quarter, quarter, half. That is that is like a, a super critical defense and using that within switch stick to switch stick onto that weak side quarter to kind of lurk stuff is probably one of the best ways to play defense just as a basic, anybody can pick it up and play it. So another cliff note for Madden 25, when we talk about formations, you either want to be in a base aligned symmetrical formation such as six one or dollar or even three four odd, or you want to be in a default or man aligned nickel set such as cub or mug. And when you're in the nickel set, that is the formation that you would want to if you wanted to play some man coverage. That would be the formation that I would recommend would be like 3-3 Cub or even mid blitz is pretty decent. And when you play man coverage, so here, let me just give you an example here what this would look like, like quarter, quarter, half like that. Um, but when you play man coverage, you want to be shading underneath. Shaded underneath man coverage is really good in this year's game and is probably the best way um, to stop some of the best offensive players in the world. There, I got to switch stick onto that a little bit faster. So those are some of my cliff notes for defense. I'm trying to think, uh, as far as like effective. So in defense, we think of like, like in offense, we think of effective routes. In defense, we think of effective blitzes. So the most effective blitzes defensively are in, in terms of like order. I'd say the best blitz in the game is still double mug. And then after that, dollar, cub, or after that, dollar. So in order, in order of, like, effectiveness, double mug, dollar, 6-1, 3-4 odd, 3-3 three, three cub. As far as if I was just looking at blitzes and pressures, it's a great, uh, great catch there by Clowney. That's what I would say. So... Those are kind of like the, again, just in terms of if we were to think in terms of what's effective uh, as a defense, um, that would be something that you do. There you see there's that quarter, quarter, half. Now, right there, I bad switch stick. I should have switch sticked onto the backside quarter and actually played that. Uh, for run defense, 6-1 is best. Now, I might not be able to stop this run, but just showing blitz out of 6-1 is typically really good. I might actually get, yeah, I should have thought he was going to run QB sneak. And then goal line is 6-2. So this formation here, 6-2 with the 60 out jacks. This has been the best goal line defense for a long time. So, again, if we were to just like kind of, I guess, recap, what are the cliff notes of Madden on defense? If you're in zone, being a symmetrical formation, then you don't have to flip. I think that's pretty effective. If you're more of a man-based player, then I would probably be in a double mug or a 3-3 cub. And then... Send four is really good. Switch stick is the biggest feature on both sides of the ball. So not only learning how to switch stick, but even putting strategic adjustments on the field 
learning how to switch stick, putting strategic adjustments on the field, uh, both combos and adjustments that are going to support switch stick and, and mitigate uh, switch stick. So it's a, what, it, what it really comes down to, guys, it's a lot more like stuff like this, like, like full field passing is kind of the counter to switch stick. Right, full field passing, you know, better clear out type routes, stuff like that. That's going to help a lot with beat, beating switch stick. Another thing that's really going to beat switch stick or help beat switch stick is not like like um, attacking, like not attacking the same area of the field all the time. Kind of having a little bit more variety, if you will, within your plays. Uh, I think that's one of the best ways to counter switch switch stick. which this guy's really not switch sticking, so it's kind of helpful to me. <laughs> Offense is super easy if they don't switch stick. If they're not switch sticking, it's, it's, really, um, it's really hard to get a stop in this game. So we went over, uh, oh, seam streaks. Uh, high points, I haven't really talked a lot about high points, but it's pretty much like, I mean, it's just, it's just you know, basically use high points. You know what I mean? There's not a whole lot to it, but high pointing pretty much everything – um, that isn't like a drag is normally pretty effective. Like that was a high point. The reason why high points are really good in this game is because they're difficult for the user to be able to pick. And you just get better kind of more aggressive catch type animations and aggressive catching in this game is, is really effective. As far as defensive cliff notes, just to recap, Again, if you're in a man, if you're more of a man-to-man -man player, a nickel set that is got auto flip on, and you're going to be using that nickel corner a lot to play man-to-man. -man. Or if you're more like me and you prefer zone or match, running more of a symmetrical formation with two safeties high, I think is probably the best way to do it. So like six one or dollar uh, to me are pretty good. There's some match and kind of mix this in within six one, and then send four pressures. Um, typically, the send four blitzes are going to isolate this left side. Whoops, this left side guard or tackle. I'm trying to think what else is effective in this game defensively. Switch stick. Oh, quarter quarter half. See how I could have I could have switched it on that and actually played that a little better. Uh, goal line de or run defense is six one. With um, six one blitz the linebacker usually the weak side safety. Goal line defense is a little different. Uh, goal line defense would be like sixty out jacks just to try to blow up the QB sneak. I really don't think Sen 5 is that good in this game, personally. There you see there's that blitz from Dollar, or 6-1. Uh, I don't think Sen 5 in general, just conceptually, is really good. The only thing Sen 5 is really good from is Double Mug or Cub, um, and that's normally if they start to do specific pass pros. So... Anyways, those are the cliff notes that I got. What are your Madden cliff notes? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you want to get the full ebooks, they're in the school community.